what's up guys welcome back to another video um so today i'm gonna be talking about the the best players from the last decade um so let's get right into it so so like i'm gonna be talking about the best players from the last 10 years um so yeah let's get right into it so first we have Mike Trout. Mike Trout is probably the best player in baseball. He hit 45 home runs this year, which is very good, I believe. Um, he he is a three-time MVP winner. Um, he's a rookie of the year. Um, and by the way, fun fact: Mike Trout's first home run, and the weather was 108 degrees in Cadman Yards. And yeah, I mean Mike Trout. Mike Trout. Next up, we have. <clears throat> Next up, we have a very good player named Jose Bautista. I'm sure a lot of us, you know, know him for his famous bat flip um, in the NLDS in 2015. Oh, uh, no, uh, ALCS um, against the Rangers. Well, you know, before, he wasn't a superstar. He was, you know, like, eh, like, is he really, really that, is he really that good? He got caught, like, he really wasn't that good. But then he, like, I don't know what happened, you know, and then he signed the Blue Jays and became really good. I mean, I mean, he's trying to make a comeback, but I don't think, uh, it's, I mean, it's not, I don't think it's really going to happen, but you never know. Um, next up I have, on, like, the thingy, I have David Wright. David Wright is, you know, he was a Met third baseman. I mean, like, you know, I'm a Met fan, you know, I might be a little biased, but, um, you know, I mean, he, he was very good, and, you know, the captain... I think, uh, and he's very good, so, and yeah, uh, next up I have, uh, I think I'm gonna stop, like, naming, like, the Met for now, you know, because, and yeah, so next up I have on the list is Joey Votto, Joey Votto, I mean, did you know, like, he only, like, popped out the first base, like, one time, and he's a lefty, I mean, so that's kind of very rare, and I mean, like, he used to hit for power and contact, but now, I mean, he doesn't really hit for power anymore. I mean, he hit for contact, but when he was in his prime, he was really very good. Um, and yeah. Next up, I have um my thing is I mean, he is from the New York Yankees. You got, and it is, I you know. Yeah, he's from the New York Yankees, and his name is Adam Ottavino. Adam Ottavino is actually very, he was, he was good in Colorado, you know, he's number zero. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I'm just, no, that was like, you know, it was good, I mean. And yeah, next up on the list. We have another very good player. He is Yadier Molina. Yadier Molina, now, he's still very good. I mean, not very good now, but when he was in his prime, he was unstoppable. He's a catcher, um, you know, and, you know, he's very good. He... You know, he has a lot of tattoos, but, you know, it doesn't really count. Um, and yeah, and uh, he's just a great player, and yeah, he's probably going to make it to the Hall of Fame. Okay, next up on the list, we have Christian Ayaluch. You know, when he was the Marlins. He wasn't really that good. But when he came to the Brewers in 2018, he, he, he came back and won MVP and almost won it this year, but he got hurt. 
Cody Ballinger won it. And you will get to guys later in the video. And next up, speaking of the Dodgers, we have a, probably one of the best Dodgers pitchers of all time, Clayton Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw, I think, is a two-time or three-time Cy Young Award winner. Um, as, and you know he he so he's like 31. He's he only played for the Dodgers in his career, you know, minor league, but the Dodgers. Um. I mean, he had a good season, but, you know, he's terrible in the playoffs. Um, and yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a lefty. He has a very good slider and cutter. And, you know, that's it. You know, and he's a very good player. And, I mean, the, the, pit, the Dodgers pitching staff is very good. Um, and yeah. <sighs> and next up. I have on the list is probably gonna be Albert Pujols. Probably the first, like maybe like three years of the decade, he was really good. You know, he was very good on the Cardinals. I mean, he's still pretty good. But I'm talking about when, like he was like still good. Um, like back in like 2013 and stuff like that. And then you know, then he took a big slump down, and he's probably never gonna go back to the same level that he once was. And yeah, and next up I have Ryan Braun. I mean, I don't really know much about the guy. I know he won a triple crown. You know, he's Jewish. He's a cheater. You know, uh, he took steroids. Um, and yeah, uh, he's a uh, he's not the best fielder. And yeah, like Christian Yelich. Next up on the list, I have Jake Degrom. Jake Degrom in 2014 won Rookie of the Year. Um, that I mean, he wasn't. He didn't win two Cy Youngs. You know, he wasn't the same caliber that we know him today. But he was still a very good pitcher. Um, he was he's don dominant. He won Rookie of the Year. Um, he made it to the All Star game. I think in 2015. I don't know if he uh went in 2014, but. He's just an animal. I mean, like, he's, he has, like, he has the potential to be a Hall of Famer if he keeps the way he's pitching. I mean, and, you know, he might win th back, back to back to back Cy Youngs. Yeah, back to back to back Cy Youngs. Um, and yeah, if, if that happened, that would be really cool. Um, you know, I'm a Met fan, like I said. And yeah, you know, it, it would be cool really cool um i hope so but you know there can be better pitchers this year next up we have speaking of pitchers we have two i'm gonna get to both of them but first we're gonna start off with mad max max scherzer max scherzer he used to play for detroit in verlander they were a very good team with mickey and all those great players and that but then you know then they got traded uh now, Max Scherzer is a two-time Cy Young Award winner, I think. Um, you know, he started off with the Diamondbacks, then he went to the uh, to the Nationals, um, and then he just, uh, and yeah, now that's, he's on the Nationals now. And next up, we have Justin Verlander. Um, he's, he's uh, I mean, he's 36 or 37, I don't know. I think one of those. Um. I know, I mean, yes, the trash cans and cheating scandal, you know. But the pitchers didn't really do anything. They're just, you know, just pitchers, you know. Uh, and, I don't know, he's very dominant. To win an MVP as a pitcher is very hard, you know, because, like, you don't have like, the home runs and stuff. But, you know, if you're that caliber of a pitcher, that... That means that you're a very good pitcher. I think he has like two or three Cy Young Awards. Um, and yeah, I think that's gonna end it here, guys. Make sure you go and like and subscribe. Um, peace.